this sunscreen I'm proud to announce does not hi guys hi guys welcome back to my channel long time no see in today's video we're going to be talking about the Garnier Ombre Solaire anti-dryness super UV SPF 50 sunscreen I have actually finished using this sunscreen in fact I filmed this video way back in June it has literally just taken me two months to edit but anyway guys before I keep you here any longer let's jump right into the video so I bought the Garnier Ombre Solaire anti dryness super uv sunscreen from Superdrug. in my local Superdrug, this was about seven pounds something it was no more than eight pounds but on the super drug website this is 11.99 however you can get this from boots for six pound fifty you can also get this from i think look fantastic ocado tesco sainsbury's just type the name of this sunscreen into google a bunch of results will pop up on the garnier website this has four out of five stars 193 reviews this is is a super loved, super popular sunscreen. On the Garnier website, they say, Garnier Ombre Solaire Anti-Dryness Super UV Protection Cream offers very high SPF protection whilst hydrating skin for up to 24 hours. Enriched with glycerin, the formula helps attract moisture and leaves skin feeling smooth. Its light texture is comfortable to wear and offers daily hydration for dry skin without leaving a greasy finish. In terms of a couple of the key benefits, this offers 24 hour hydration, very high protection, this has a light texture it's dermatologically tested and it is cruelty free under the leaping bunny program i'm gonna just cheat and say early on i really love this sunscreen i've been using this for over a week and i really am so impressed with this when i saw this in super drug i just had to pick it up because a couple of months ago as you guys will probably know if you're familiar with my channel i was reviewing the anti-age version of the sunscreen and i really enjoyed using this sunscreen the only negative part for me really was was the fact that it peeled like crazy so when i saw the anti-dryness version i thought to myself well i have dry skin this would be an interesting thing to try it's super cheap super affordable you guys will definitely be interested in the anti-dryness version and if it does peel that's just like a small price to pay i'm more curious to see if this will actually be hydrating but come to find i've been using this for a week and do you know what no let me keep that to myself for just a second so with that said let's jump right into using okay guys where to start i love this sunscreen i think this sunscreen is incredible it's amazing if you have dry skin you are going to love this sunscreen because it is so hydrating it is so like thick and juicy but not in a not in a horrible not in a horrible thick uncomfortable way that you feel like your pores are clogging or being clogged or anything like that your skin doesn't feel like overwhelmed with product on it but it is nice and thick enough that you don't get dry throughout the day this past week has been ridiculously hot in london yesterday it was 30 two 33 degrees in london yesterday absolutely mad and on wednesday i went to ascot ooh, ooh. i went to ascot on wednesday it was incredibly hot i was wearing makeup i was out in the sun i personally think that this has been the best week to test out sunscreen because it has been so ridiculously hot and i have spent so much time outside so i know that it holds up well in the heat reapplication in the heat when it's like hot and you're sweaty and it's muggy outside is fine your face doesn't feel clogged or like it can't breathe your skin is still feeling hydrated and moisturized throughout the day you still have a nice healthy glow your makeup still looks fresh throughout the day the sunscreen really is just so amazing and the biggest thing that i love about the sunscreen that was also one of my biggest concerns about the sunscreen is pilling this sunscreen i'm proud to announce does not pill the first day i used this i was putting it on and i was like okay Alice, this thing could pill i hope you're ready for it to pill and i waited i was rubbing it on my face i waited literally the whole day and not a single scrap of pilling for the last seven or eight days i'm wearing the sunscreen and i have not pilled once and that has been with me wearing moisturizer underneath this i've worn this with moisturizer and without moisturizer just to see how it works to see how hydrating it is and i've not pilled at all so if you were looking for a cheap affordable pill free sunscreen for dry skin you really cannot go wrong with this anti-dryness super uv sunscreen it gives you this nice kind of glow to be fair this is bordering on greasy and sweaty i know they did say that this is a non-greasy formula but i think this is this is like teaching on the edge of being a bit too much but i personally love it it comes out so thick and like globuly that i'm 
feel like I'm probably wearing about three fingers technically, but this is what you get from two full fingers of sunscreen. So if you don't like this level of glow, then just be warned that this is kind of what you will look like. That's the diam sat right in front of a window and there's lots of sun coming on me. So that could be why I'm looking more juicy and glowy than normal. <laughs> What else is there? No, I just really love this sunscreen and I think it's amazing. It's just really good. And I think if you liked the anti-age version of the sunscreen, then I'm pretty sure you're going to also like the anti-dryness version. If you have oily skin, I'm just gonna say it now, just steer clear of this because this is targeted for people with dry skin. This has glycerin in it, which will keep your skin hydrated throughout the day and just kind of attracts more moisture to your face. So I think if you have oily skin, you probably don't want to be looking like this throughout the day. But if you have dry skin, you get dry patch on your skin like I do, then this is a great sunscreen to try. And because it is super hydrating, you don't feel your skin going dry at like 4 p.m. Like your skin feels really good throughout the day. And reapplying this is really nice. Because it is so thick, I was a bit concerned that reapplying would be really grim and that you just get like weird dirt on your hand you know how sometimes when you reapply because your face just gets gross throughout the day but i've not had that with the sunscreen and it's been nice to reapply my only negative thing i would say about this is sometimes it is a bit too thick so yesterday it was 33 degrees and i think in that heat it's just a lot and reapplying something this thick in 33 degree heat it's not the nicest feeling so i know i said this doesn't feel clogging on the face and it doesn't but when you're reapplying sunscreen in that kind of heat it does take a moment for you to stabilize and be like okay am i actually okay because it's just a it's just a bit thick teeny tiny bit thick and i think it can be a bit overwhelming at times but that is really the only negative thing that i have to say about this you will also see that unlike the last couple of sunscreens that i have been trying so i'm talking about the image skincare sunscreen the carbon theory sunscreen my hairline my brows everything is just completely normal so if you are dark skin like me or you have darker hair and you find that some sunscreens just kind of sit in your hairline they sit on your brows they sit on your like sideburns i don't know this sunscreen does not do that it does take a bit of time and a bit more effort to rub in but it's well worth it and it's not something that i mind that much because i know that my hairline will be normal and i don't have to wait for this to settle in as soon as it's rubbed in it's rubbed in and i'm good to go which i really 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 love about the sunscreen i guess now the all important question is will i buy the sunscreen again yes i will definitely be buying it again it is super affordable super cheap you can get this from a ton of stores and it just works so well on my skin i have dried dehydrated skin and i just find this to be really hydrating and really moisturizing i love how it just leaves me looking brown it gives me this really nice glow and i love that i can wear this on its own i don't have to wear it with moisturizer i'm just a bit extra and i prefer to wear moisturizer because it makes me feel like i have a more complete skincare routine but you don't have to wear this with moisturizer you can just wear this on its own if you want to but if you do want to wear this with moisturizer i would go light on the moisturizer you don't want to put on too much moisturizer on your face wow how many times I just said moisturizer. But anyway, I didn't really touch on this so much, but you can wear makeup on top of this and your makeup looks fine. It doesn't peel. Your makeup is not sliding all over the place. Just make sure that if you are using this sunscreen and it is like 30 degrees outside and you're wearing makeup, make sure that you are setting your face with a adequate setting spray just to set your makeup to make sure that you're not going to be sliding all over the place. But that is for if you are literally in 30 degree heat and it is super hot and super sunny and you're just like more prone to sweating. But yeah, I love this sunscreen and I will for sure be buying it again. If I am to compare these two sunscreens, I would... Mm. I think I prefer the anti-dryness just because it doesn't peel. But that aside, these two are pretty good sunscreens. So if you have tried out this anti-age version, you will probably, I'm 99% sure that you'll like the anti-dryness version just because they're very similar to each other and they both feel good on the face. Okay, okay guys, so that is all from me in today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you have tried this anti-dryness sunscreen, please do comment down below. Let me and everybody else know your thoughts on it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you have dry skin, oily skin? Do you recommend it to other people tell me all the things down below i would love to know if you've not tried it comment down below and let me know if you are looking forward to trying it, if it's on your sunscreen wish list and yeah thank you again so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and in the meantime i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.